Today I want to uh, take a look with you how to use the first, last, next, next all, next until and not command. They are basically methods that we can use to filter or find elements in the UI and well, they are pretty useful. In the last video, as you remember, we reviewed how to use children, closest, equal, filter and find. If you want to see that video as well, I'll try to leave it in the description of this video. Okay, before we we'll start taking a look on the examples, I want to tell you that I am currently working on a Cypress Udemy course. As you can see, I already have uploaded seven hours of, of, this, uh, of this course and you're going to have a lot of insights, even if you are a, a beginner and you don't know nothing about this. You can see that you're going to have a lot of insights here, how to install it, how, what is Mocha, uh, how to find elements by CSS and XPath, at least the most uh, well, use it once, right? Then I'll try to explain you how the retryability works, uh, how you can handle dynamic tables, environment variables, uh, how you can uh, spy after you click on an A tag, all right? Uh, how you can check broken images, upload, download uh, files and iframes, and so on. Also, I have a section for page object model versus actions because it is an interesting topic that I want to talk about. And I'm currently working on advanced scenarios. I, I have still pending the API testing um, part and also how we can integrate our framework with the Cypress dashboard and GitHub Actions to run uh, our tests in parallel mode, okay? So I just wanted to tell you that if you're interested in this, I'll try to leave a form in the description so you can send me your email and name and I'll try to send you the curriculum if you're interested as soon as it is released okay so let's start with the uh, this video all right um well as you can see what i'm gonna do is to start with the very first command which is first okay let's review what is happening in the description of the official documentation get the first dumb element within a set of dumb elements that's basically what is going to do the first method okay so as you can see uh, the example here is doing a side get it is looking for the class traversal table let me inspect this and see what is happening traversal table here all right and inside of the traversal table it is going to look for the descendant elements td so let me check where they are probably it is inside of the t body right you can see the the, the the data here i have six of them right the one jane lane the, the number three to John and Doe. And well, using the first command probably, it is going to look for the very first dumb element in the list of elements, right? So it's gonna be looking or checking this particular value. As you can see in the assertion part, should contain one. That's what is happening here. And that's how they are explaining us how to use the first command. If I copy this example and I, well, use the, or if I copy and paste the, the example here in my framework, you're gonna see that it is gonna work, okay? Let's take a look of this. In the first one, you, as you can see, it is finding six elements, as I told you before, but it is using first to filter the only, the, the very first element in, in the list, okay? And it contains one. That is great, guys. Let's continue with the next one. The next one is the last, okay? Let's review what is happening with the last example. It is kind of the similar stuff, okay? You can see that inside of this div, I do have a div, right? And it has the class traversal buttons. And that's the very first part of the last example that I have here. And then it is gonna look for every single element that has the class button or PTN. So as you can see inside of this div, every single element here, it doesn't matter if it is a, an A tag, a button, or input. All of them has the class button at, at the beginning of its class definition, right? So it is going to return probably four elements, right? <clears throat> Using the last command, it is going to look probably for the last input. It doesn't matter if it is a button or, or so because it is looking for the class. And as you can see, it is going to check if the last or yeah, the, the last element contains the value submit okay that's what is happening here and that is great okay um, let me just run it for you to see if i am wrong or or, or right <laughs> okay take a look of this i have four elements and using the last command it is looking for the submit dom element it is working as i was trying to explain okay let's continue with the next one the next one is the next method over here the next method is going to help us to get the next sibling dumb element within elements using next command. Probably if I check the official documentation, it's pretty practically the same, right? So let's let's understand what is happening here again. I'm gonna inspect this list here, which is uh, probably an another list, yeah? And it has the class traversal UL, as you can see here as well in the in the HTML. 
So the, the thing that is going to happen here is that it is going to look for the, the element inside of this element, the traverse LUL div or an order list, I'm sorry, and it's going to filter by the value apples. So if I inspect the first li, it has the value apples. Okay, that's basically what is happening in the in these two first commands. Okay, but then it is using the next command to find the next sibling dumb element. So it is going to point probably to the li oranges, and that is that's basically what is happening here. You can see that it is checking or doing assertion to check if the it contains oranges or not. That is great. So if I check the execution in my test runner, okay, you're going to see that it is going to work perfectly fine. You can see that here it is finding apples at the beginning and then using next, it is going to look for oranges in the list. That is great, guys. Let's continue with the next example, guys, which is next. Oh, all right. I just wanted to say if you are enjoying this video and you're, well, learning something new, please subscribe and let a like. It is going to uh, help a lot this small challenge, uh, channel. So I appreciate it, guys. I really appreciate it. Let's continue with next. Oh, this command is going to help us to get all the next sibling DOM elements within the elements. Let me explain you the, the, the example because I know the description is kind of tricky. So I'm going to inspect the code here. You're going to see that. Um, if I check the, the element here, the div, it is going to have the class traversal next all, which is the class that I was looking for, right? In the example, so I get traversal next all class. Then it is going to look for the li that contains the origin oranges text. Okay. So if I check the oranges, you can see that this is the second li in a list of five elements, right? So uh, it is going to look for oranges. So uh, it is going to be placed in the second one, this one, but then it is going to use the next all um, command, right, to make sure that the returning value should have a length of three. Okay, so you can see that I have one, two, three over here. That is great. Um, so now that we have understood this, um, that's basically all what you need to do, right? If I run again the example, let me show you this R next all. Well, it, it was look. It is looking uh, or finding three elements in in the DOM, right? Because well, it is looking or finding the next siblings after the oranges one. That's what is basically happening over here. That is great, guys. Let's continue with the next example, and it is kind of similar one because the next until is going to find well as the next O, but well with an until condition, right? Let me f show you this example. Uh, well, as you can see in the get over here, um, it is going to look for the ID, all right? So let me see. Doo -doo -doo. There we have the ID that I was looking for, right? So it is going to use the command next until, until the nuts ID is found. So it is going to be capable to find cu cucumbers, carrots, and corn. So that's basically what, what is happening. Here we have a kind of a limit and that is great as well. So if I run this, you can see that in my next until command, it is finding three elements between vegetables and nuts. And that's another solution that we have available using these amazing uh, helpers, right? But let's uh, finish the video with the last one and not less important, which is nut. The nut um, command is going to help us to filter DOM elements, to remove DOM elements from the set of elements. All right, <laughs> let, let me give you this example. Uh, I'm going to inspect this div and you can see that it has the class traversal disabled. So the first get is pointing to that class and then to the descendant elements that has the class BTN. All right. So you can see that I have a couple of buttons here with the class BTN as well. So um, I want to filter or yeah, I do. I want to remove from the list of elements the one that has the attribute disabled and you can see that i am using here or they are using here the command not right to uh, basically um yeah filter or remove from the list of elements the disabled one so it is checking that it doesn't contain disabled 
the, the remaining element in the list, okay? So let me run again this example and let me find, show you that it is working fine, okay? It is uh, finding two elements over here, right? As you can see in the console, but then using not, well, there is no disabled in the list, right? So it is checking that the button remaining not contain the disabled um, text. That's basically what, all that I have for this week, guys. If you want to see more about parent, parents, parents until, and brief, and also brief all brief until, just let me know that in the comment section or just with a just hitting the like button. I'm gonna understand that you like this kind of videos, and I'll try to well bring more of the of this for you guys. Thank you very much for your support. It was a pleasure, and see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.